Hi Year 7, we're going to look today at how to create the window for the side of the piggy bank. We're going to do this in Adobe Illustrator, so you need to open Adobe Illustrator on your computer. You're using Creative Cloud, so it might look a little bit different when you first open. The, you might not see this screen, you might see something slightly different. Um, and it may ask you if you want to save on the cloud or on your computer. I would suggest saving on the cloud, but that's not a very important thing. The next few steps are quite important. You click Create New. And this dialog box comes up. Now it's very, very important that we choose Art and Illustration. The size should be 1280 by 1024. We need to make sure that here it says millimeters. In yours, it possibly says points or something different, but please change that to millimeters here. Then click oh, Create. So Art and Illustration, millimeters, uh, 1280 by 1024, and then Create. Now when it opens, the likelihood is you're missing a couple of important things. You're probably going to be missing this bar at the top here, which is really important. So how we get that is we go to Window up here at the top, and we need to have Control selected. So you're likely to see this with nothing at the top. So go Window, Control, and get that. And then Window again, and Pathfinder. So Control and Pathfinder. These other things are not so important. I can switch them off without any problems at all. So you should just have, let me show you again one more time, window, control, and pathfinder. For some reason, link's not turning off, but that doesn't matter. So control and pathfinder on, that's all we need. Okay, now in Illustrator, down the side, we've got our control menu. The little triangles in the corner show me that there are additional tools hidden underneath. So if I click and hold here on the rectangle, I get all these different tools here. I want the ellipse tool. So again, just come here, click, choose ellipse. Don't click and drag, just click one time and this box will appear and we can enter the sizes. So we want to do 65, then click the tab key on your keyboard, 65, and we've got that. If you've made it the wrong size, go get the black arrow, select it and click the delete key and that will go away. So one more time, ellipse tool, 65 by 65 perfect now we need to choose the ellipse tool again and this time click once and do 10 by 10 get the black arrow and you see the little dot in the center move that so it aligns with the top with the line of the circle so they line up then i would like you to copy it and paste it and this time the dots align it to the bottom now with the black arrow, not the circle tool, the black arrow, select both, and then the weld tool. Now it could be that your pathfinder has disappeared. Sometimes it's down here at the bottom, it's disappeared. So just drag that up, pathfinder, the weld tool, and that welds it together. So that's now one shape. Now circle again, this time five by five, click OK. middle and just line it up here copy and paste i'm using Control c Control v but you could use edit and i'm getting that and you can even see it's helping me line it up we've got those those lines that appear when we move it to just help us line it up so i'm lining it up there perfect now i need to select everything i need to come to the top this is the fill i'm just going to show you what happens don't do this yourself I can fill it yellow. I don't want it yellow. I want it filled white with a red stripe, which means no fill. Then this and this are the outline. So I need to choose red for the outline. Very important, I choose RGB red and not this red over here, RGB red. And then here I need to type. I need to type 0 0.001. Oh. 0 0.001. I then enter it. And the, it's gone very pale. The laser cutter will know that that's to be cut. Final step, file, save as. I need to make sure it's on this computer. So again, you might see something a little bit different. Do you want to save it on the cloud? Do you want to save it on the computer? 
you want to save it on the computer. I would save it on the desktop so it's really easy to find. I'll give it a name, call it your name. Okay, something like that. Save that. Click OK. And then now you need to go to your emails. You need to open a new email. And you need to attach that to your emails. So recipient, email to yourself, attach using the attach button. And then upload that from your desktop, which should be this one here. Okay, 